As the holiday season comes to an end, a lot of people are getting rid of their old Christmas trees and one local petting zoo is helping visitors unload the green goods. We are an exotic educational petting zoo. Uh, it's a busy day at the Tucson Petting Zoo uh, and Funny skills. Foot Farm. If you have any questions along the way, feel free to ask and definitely don't let them chew on your shoelaces. Or Owner Kenneth McNeil serves up a special treat for his goats during the holiday season. That's right, they're chopping down on gourmet Christmas trees, or any Christmas tree that is. We give the goats the Christmas trees because it's actually good for parasites when they eat the, the pine needles. The Christmas tree is totally edible by the goats, so it doesn't bother them at all, and it helps to recycle trees instead of them going to landfills. The petting zoo has been feeding the goats trees for years. They normally take in about 10 trees every season. Donors can call the zoo to make arrangements for a drop-off. We've actually taken in Christmas trees anytime people have have extra ones that they don't know what to do with. We have between probably about 25 to 30 goats. Uh, babies are happening right now, so they're they're multiplying. The business model has also helped the zoo survive during the pandemic. It's been around for about five years, and the pens are still full and open. We were a little scared for a couple months, but for the most part, we were able to be open through most of the pandemic because we are outside. So we did get a decent amount of customers in. Kenneth will keep his tradition going as long as the trees and visitors keep coming and the goats keep eating. If you love animals, come on down and meet some really neat animals and learn about them. Most of our animals are raised for babies, so they're very friendly, love people, love attention. We have details about hours and admission fees on kga9.com. All right, some good stuff there. Orion is back with a